Hey guys, it's me, Ja John, witness to Jesus Christ, King of Kings, and uh, judgment time is coming on the horizon. Got the New World Order, the vaccine, the mark of the beast. Can't buy or sell without it, right? That's what it's got to be coming around the corner because they're telling people, oh, you got to have a card, vaccine card to do to go into public places. And uh, they're restricting people. And uh, it sounds like the mark of the beast to me. All you Christians better be on your toes. God is watching you. And uh, a lot of these things they're pushing are unnatural. They're on, you know, not Yahweh. Okay? Like so many things. You know, I, I posted a video earlier about you know, Serena Williams and uh, Serena Williams pushing the vaccine on everybody in these commercials on Pluto TV and then appearing as Wonder Woman and, uh, you know, hitting this tennis racket and beating down women uh, and certainly not ladylike in any way or part of any feminist movement, that's for sure. Um, if anything really degrading women when you have a person who's transgender pretending to be a woman and then playing other women and and nobody says anything. I'm a man. I see what's going on. You know, and I'm from New York City. I grew up born and bred and uh, plenty of transgender and gay people. And there's nothing, you know, people, you know, they, they want to be that. That's fine. But when we're dealing with deception, and people are using these things to abuse others and uh, degrade. It's not... It's degrading to women to have a man beating down women with playing tennis. So let's, I mean, we got to be honest. You know, all these things and all these topics we, we, we haven't been honest about. And they've been in our society and we just keep letting them go on without addressing them. And uh, unfortunately, this is why we have so many problems because we can't even discuss these things. And uh, they want to put a, ma a mask over our mouth and tell us, we can't breathe air, we can't think, and we can't speak, and it's all completely un-American and ungodly, and this is what we're dealing with. So people, you know, we need to stand up and fight, and fight the good fight, pray to God for the strength, because uh, mankind is in chains right now, and Babylon has it, you know, by the throat. You know, the evil ones subduing people and using fear you know, the vaccines are not helping, and you know, they're not helping people because the people that are getting the vaccine are still going to the emergency room and testing positive. So why are they pushing this vaccine on everyone? And it's uh, people are, with the vaccine are coming down with the virus and all kinds of other maladies. And censoring, you know, YouTube and censoring the media and not allowing us to speak or have freedom of ideas or thought and yes, these are all Babylonian and ungodly and an abomination to God. You know, you saw the storm uh, down in Kentucky the other day, and it hit the Amazons uh, and Target, and that was a big storm. And I heard a lot of people say, oh, Mother Nature. And no, not Mother Nature. God did that. Mother Nature did not do that. God did that. And that is God's power. God controls the weather. Okay? People, you need to get it right. And for too long, we got it wrong. And this is why we have big problems in this world. People need to get their minds right with God and start praying. Because we need him, we need Jesus Christ now to help us. Okay? And he's the only one who's going to restore the order in this world. Okay? This world is his world. It's not our world. It's not, uh, you know, no race. It uh, uh, doesn't belong to any race or creed or you know, gender or any of that stuff it belongs to God. God rules the earth. That's the way it is. It's been that way from the beginning of time. It's going to be that way to the end of time. And when mankind is not even here anymore, it's going to be off somewhere else. Okay, because this is the way that it is. Okay. God is always in heaven and he has his realm, the eternal realm and here on earth. You know, these are different realms, okay? It needs to be understood. All right? And uh, the devil has got us divided with racism, sexism, all these things confusing you, okay? And, uh, you know, these throwing things in front of us which are wrong and then 
you know, try to act like they're right and they're not right. You know, and I grew up with Wonder Woman and Linda Carter was Wonder Woman, not Serena Williams. Okay, Serena Williams, you are not Wonder Woman. So you can stop degrading and defiling our childhood uh, heroes, okay? Because Linda Carter was great and you're not Wonder Woman, okay? You're Wonder Man or whatever you are, okay? So let's get real. Time to get real. Time to get tough and strong and for men to be men and for women to be women, and whoever else needs to sit the hell down, okay? Because enough is enough, okay? We need to pull our pants up, walk straight, and, you know, like God's right in front of us, okay? That being said, keep your eye on the clock and watch out for the mark of the beast, okay? And don't fall into the trap because they're tricking you Telling you you're going to be safe. And meanwhile, they're poisoning you. And they're turning you, genetically modifying you and turning you into a GMO. And that's their creation, okay? And it's disgusting, okay? You should all be ashamed. And you better repent because God is coming to judge. Hallelujah. <laughs>